Well, hello, sunshine. How we doing today? I uh, think we're going to do another little short video here of your suggestion down there in the comments on this old roof uh, G366 steel MS361 clone saw. And, uh, of course, we're going to try all kinds of different things. And I'm always uh, reading through the comments. As a matter of fact, I keep those in a separate... Uh, I keep a list on the computer of every uh the comp the suggestions from you guys down there um one of the suggestions uh from a while back was to put a velocity stack instead of uh yeah i got it loose um instead of uh the air filter right uh so i thought well there's something quick and easy in a hurry we can do and I think that's exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, what I've got is a velocity stack here that I'd built. Oh, let it work on anything. I've run it on that Husky, I've run it on that Poland. And this kind of an infinite radius is uh, like 45 degrees. There, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20 on down. So it's, it's built like the old velocity stacks we used to put on our cars the, the, well the rich kids had them us poor kids when we went into sport mode we just turned our, the top of our air filter upside down and give it a th different sound <laughs> but you guys remember that um that gummit, uh yeah or if you go uptown you pull two spark plugs off so it says there and runs like crap everybody thinks you got a cam in her <laughs> oh yeah um but anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this velocity stack on here. I don't know if we'll run a filter or not. It's kind of it's kind of hit up in the air and hit and miss. Uh, uh, it's kind of hit and miss on whether I want to run an air filter. It just barely don't clear uh, there very good. Uh, But anyhow, what's you guys' thoughts on whether or not we're going to have a horsepower increase? Um, I don't know. I can uh, I can sure see air getting in there better. Uh, this has a 90 degree. It's got to bend 90 degrees to get in there. It can suck air up through this little filter deal here on the bottom a little bit. Um, and of course, we got no place to bolt our air cleaner now. Uh, I could probably weld a tab on top of that and ain't that big a deal out or thread that and put a stud in there and but it would put it so close to the back it couldn't draw air it couldn't draw air anyway um but we'll see if we'll see if there's any gain uh you can see that's pretty restrictive right and i can't see what you're seeing um but that could all be ground even on a stock this could be ground back uh you know you could open you could open this up and and get some more air in there but that's not what we're doing we're testing velocity stack horsepower or hype what do you think uh we was at 4.61 horsepower on this the way it was with this muffler mod what do you think we're going to get i don't know let's go get her on dyno and find out oh ruth with velocity stack just warmed up run one Okay, so old Ruth seemed to like her velocity stack pretty good. We made it up to 5.02 horsepower. At, <coughs> excuse me. We're making this all usable around 11,000, 10,005 range. 3.3 uh, foot pounds of torque. I uh, think we've gained pretty good across the board. Let's compare that to the previous version with just the muffler mod. Uh, and you can see we gained all across the board. Uh, previous version was 3.18 foot pounds of torque. 3.43 is what we're up to now, which is a quarter, quick dirty math, quarter foot pound of torque, 0.25 foot pound of torque, uh, 0.41 horsepower, right? Um, 0.41 horsepower gain would be pretty even. 
I mean, as in it's just a little bit higher than where it was, but we gained all across the board. We gained some RPMs. We gained torque. Uh, we gained usable RPMs. It basically just took this line, stretched it up, and made it bigger. So that's a gain. That's just a gain everywhere there is. Uh, that's a pretty daggum easy gain. Well, <laughs> that kind of surprised me. Um, while I'm thinking about it, guys, I'm not, yeah, do the likes, comment, whatever. Just do that YouTube thing if you like this kind of stuff. Let me know if you like this shorter stuff where I just do something quick and dirty. Don't really show you any of how I done it, uh, but just do something, get it on dyno, see what kind of gains or losses we got from it. Um, you guys know how to run, you, you know how to run a chainsaw, I'm sure you know how to run YouTube. If you want to run YouTube, help out my little old channel a little bit, uh, I'd appreciate that. But in the meantime, um, and I don't know, I haven't put all three of the dyno runs together. I just pulled the second one um, and the third one. I guess I just didn't pull the first one. Here you go. Um, I haven't put them all on charts and studied them and bounced them against anything. But I think, if I remember right, 5.02 <clears throat> horsepower without, without the filter, and I probably won't even show them both or try to put them on the same chart. It was only like 5.04 horsepower with the filter or vice versa. It didn't make it really any difference. They, they just right in there. This filter just didn't seem to impact it. I'd say it was within the margin of error. Uh, but I was, I was awful. I was awful surprised at what the velocity stack did. Uh, that gave me way more horsepower than I thought. Um, shucks. Uh, between the mouth and the anus there, we, a little bit of muffler mod and a little bit of velocity stack. Now I can't run something like this firewood and guys, I'll be honest with you. Um, to me, if it's got a velocity stack, it's me. I may make everybody mad. If it's got a velocity stack and a filter hanging out, it ain't a firewood saw no more. Um, you can call it a firewood saw, but in my opinion, uh, it ain't something I can throw on the back of the four wheeler. If it sits out in the rain or if it comes up raining, um, it's no longer a work saw. Uh, it's in the way, getting ripped off there, uh, just knocking it. But somebody wanted to know about a velocity stack, and you know what? So did I. Uh, I'm not saying there's not a place for it. Um, maybe not in a firewood saw race, but in a modified saw race, sure, firewood saw, I still think it ought to have a filter and covers on it. That's just that's just my opinion. Um, I digress, though. Guys, if, you, if I didn't just make you mad uh, by sharing my own opinion, uh, come back and see me sometime. Appreciate you being here.